Welcome back YouTube, Tutu UK, and um, yes, the dream, the dream, the realisation has come to fruition. We, we can now boot the A400 Mini straight into Workbench. Many thanks to um, a chap uh, who's developed this, and I forget his name now, Spanner Nick. Spanner Nick, and it's a, a, a mod that's called PCU AAE. Um, I have been tinkering with this um, because the previous version, which was 1.17, uh, there were some issues and it wasn't working correctly for me. So I've joined the forum that, is, that obviously he posts on. And we did some to and fro and whatnot and, and essentially found some bugs. Um, so yeah, I've been a bit, of a, bit, a bit of a guinea pig with this, but it's been interesting. Um, quite, <laughs> quite frustrating at times. But we've got there in the end. Um, but essentially, yeah, what this allows you to do is, as you can see now, is you turn your A500 Mini on with your uh, USB drive hooked up, go straight to Workbench. No more faffing around, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it gives you Workbench. Now, there's a few caveats to, to this kind of thing. So it's it's made up of multiple parts. It's not just a single install. So PCU AAE is the the app that will um, obviously allow or, or mod the A500 to, to auto boot um, and then using various scripts that this uh, Nick has written you can load different um, facets so you can load Workbench you can load something called um, Pandori which is kind of like a WHD load front end um, you can load um, your own workbench or oh, you can load obviously workbench here you can load a, a, a version of their carousel up as well so there's, there's a lot of different functionality that, that is built in to pc uae but ultimately for me as i've said to you guys before this is what i wanted i wanted it straight to workbench and then you've got a workbench running here so this workbench here is uh, an amiga mini build so that's that's something in itself so he's basically incorporated the, the amiga mini um build image into this PC UAE so it's really clever and obviously all the links will be down below for this guys but uh, yeah I've, I've, I did start doing some videos when it first came out because sure, I thought it was just going to be plain sailing but it, it turns out it wasn't it wasn't as uh, it was still in its infancy as you can, you can imagine it's only version 1.17 um, again a, a, another caveat to this is if you've already put the latest firmware onto your A500 this won't work it won't work until they find another hack or crack or whatever way into it. Um, apparently, the guys that, that have been dealing with the A500 Mini, obviously, you know, Retro Games Limited, I think, uh, some the hacking community basically said they don't want people to... Make, you can tell from the updates that they're doing, they're, they're trying to lock it down more and more. So if you've got a stock A500 Mini, this will work. You can do this if you so wish. But, yeah, essentially, it gives you the workbench, uh, and you can see all the... You know, down the side there, WHD load games. It is basically a fully functioning Amiga. Um, I think it's roughly about 1200. This is um, a WHD load optimized build, build, which is why the desktop looks a bit sort of washed out and stuff because it's not, you know, you're not really interested in, in the workbench per se, you're interested in the games. I think it's the most compatible one. Um, but yeah, it's 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 working, it does what it's what it what I want it to do anyway. Um, uh, again, another sort of weird um, requirement, I suppose, is to keep this running. What you have to do when you've had enough of you know, pissing about in Workbench or you load a game and you've had enough of that game, like you would do with your Amiga, you know, your Amiga, you would reboot it. With this one, you have to pull the power lead out, out the back, straight out the back, leave it for a couple of minutes, not a couple of minutes, like, you know, like 10 seconds or whatever, because you have to let. <clears throat> the machine uh, reset. If you plug it in too quick, what it will do is it, it will then start to load um, the carousel again because it, you've kind of interrupted the script. Um, so, like I say, we'll just pl quickly plug this back in and I'll show you. Because of the way the, the A500 works, you know, the power button isn't really a power button. It, it's used for multiple different things. So it kind of messes um with with the mod in that in that sense but yeah i'm quite happy just to pull the usb lead out and plug it back in it's not 
it's not great, is it, really? Because you're not going to be pulling leads in and out. A bit like the old Specky. Um, but, you know, until they come out with a more slicker way, then this is the way to do it. And apparently, from speaking and reading some of the articles that this Nick's done and whatever, um, the actual onboard memory is only like 256 meg. They've kind of compressed down the whole of those, all those games that you've got there. There's sort of 25 games. They've all been squeezed down into like 43 meg or something. Um, and it's it, 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 it's very hard, if not impossible, to rewrite that NAND at the minute. So if they can rewrite the NAND, you see, you can then put a bootloader into it. But this way here, it works. So I'm quite happy with it in this sense. But um, yeah, like it, it, at this point now, <clears throat> it works. Some of the downloads are quite big. Um, so you're going to need a fairly chunky either, you know, uh, thumbnail, thumbnail, uh, thumb drive. <laughs> Or like I've got is an external USB hard drive, and there you go. You see, it's, it's it's loading straight to workbench again. So it does work. It does work. Um, so now we'll need to find is a is a um, USB adapter, um, so I can get the quick shot Python two out, play some kickoff two proper. But yeah, happy happy enough for me. So uh, again, like I said, I only do these mega videos and stuff like that. When some noticeables come out, you know, I'm not going to milk these to death. You know that, guys. I'm not that way inclined. But I thought this was significant. Significant enough for me, anyway. So uh, take it easy, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.